One of the great things about an open LLM is it gives you options. If you want to install things locally, you can do that and run it on your own machine. Use a Llama, download a model, or away you go. If you want to put it on your own server, you can do that as well. Install a Llama there, download a model, and you can query it over an API. But what if you don't want to host things yourself? What if you put in something into production, you'll be certain that our infrastructure isn't going to go down anytime soon? Well, there's a whole host of options coming out, and there seems to be mod new models coming out every day, but how do you choose between them all? That's where today's website comes in. This is artificialanalysis.ai. It's a great website that I found recently that allows you to compare different providers and models on a number of metrics like quality, speed, and price. And I've been using it recently to compare how models, different models fare um, for my own uh, projects. So if we go in here, the great thing about this is that we don't, we have a number of metrics we can compare by. So we have quality, comparison by ability, quality versus throughput, and all these models are against providers and, uh, sorry, models and hosting providers. It is a project that's been going since December of last year, and it's been tracking different model providers every day since then. Um, it's created by Michael Smith and George Cameron, and uh, I'm finding it a really useful resource. By default, we've dropped in with proprietary models as well. So we have Anthropic, Gemini, and um, OpenAI there as well, but we can actually switch these off. So we can choose here that we don't want to see any of the um, proprietary models. We only want open ones. And I'll select just the Mistral and um, Llama 2 models here, switch everything else off. And we get this, so at the top we still see these proprietary ones, but as these graphs lower down, we can see a quality comparison by ability. You can see Mistral, Medium doing really well there, Mixtral just below it on general ability. And you can scroll through all these different metrics and there's a whole bunch of them and it explains which ones uh, are what we need to be looking for in particular. There's a great little thing on each of these um, graphs that highlights the best quadrant. So in this case where we're looking at quality versus throughput, we want something that's high quality and high throughput. So Mistral Spool, Mistral Spool and Mixtral as well, uh, the two that fall into that pocket. Um, quality versus price, we want something that is low price but high quality, and you can see there's a bunch of different models there, and you can see that actually Mistral fares really well there with Code Llama and all the other Llama models falling a little bit below. As we scroll down, we get into the API providers as well, which is um, really in one of the most interesting aspects of this, I think, in that we can see all these different model providers that exist and that are able to supply this model. So in this case, it's actually using Mixtral 8 by 7 b uh, And we can see that Grok really stands out as uh, the leader in this price versus throughput chart. And a little bit further down, you'll actually see that the number of uh, tokens per second here is almost double what it is in any other provider and actually that's only just started tracking recently. So yeah we can see all these different models and if we get straight to the bottom we can see how a number of different stats on them as well in terms of their um, context window and what licensing model they have on them. So I found this really useful. There's also another nice thing that you can do where you can click on any one of these models and you can get specific details of which are the hosting providers for that particular model. So you can compare just say that one model. So if I click down into Llama 2 to get details on that, oh, there we go. Um, we can actually see that some other, other providers pop up as well. So we get Bedrock and Azure included in the mix as well. So yeah, I found this really useful for kind of comparing things as I'm putting things into production. Hopefully you find it useful too. Um, and I will see you soon in the next video. All right, bye for now. Bye.